if you type into your computer compasses point south, you'll see for yourself that the north side of your compass is seeking a south pole. The Chinese are the ones who invented the compass. And what I'm telling you is that they all point, well, a north side of a compass is seeking a south pole. And it's telling you that the south pole is actually the inside holy of holies at the center of the dish. Okay, now the moon above your head. Uh, I'm telling you that the moon is not what you think it is. People try and use the moon in magic and whatnot. And listen to me very carefully. The moon does not cause the tides. Look it up yourself. You'll see that if the moon caused the tides, then as, they went over the, as the moon went over the Great Lakes, it would cause a bulge on the water. But it doesn't. That's because it's Lilith, the black sun, is causing the tides, breathing. Uh, she's a living, breathing, conscious being. Lilith, I'm telling you, is the goddess of this world, and she's back. She's conscious. She's living. And if you want to meet her, one time at midnight, drop a drop of your blood into the earth and ask the Great Spirit for guidance. Also at high noon, do it once. Drop a drop of your blood into the earth and look into the sun and say, Lilith, I need your guidance. And you go straight to the source, people. The moon, if you go to the moon, the moon is a succubus, it's a decoy. And what I'm telling you is that Lilith is the god of this world, people. You need to go straight to the source. If you go to the moon, you will be bitten in the ass. I'm explaining to you that when people use the moon to get love or money, there's always a price that comes in the back to bite you in the ass. Okay? The moon has a bad rap for a reason. Because the moon is sending down a square wave. It's poisoning the well. And it's a decoy. It's a succubus. And I'm telling you that... Uh, you need to go straight to the source. And how you get straight to the source, people, is you place your bare feet on dry dirt by a big old tree, a nice old tree that you can find. You drop a drop of your blood into the earth at midnight, and you ask the Great Spirit for guidance. It's just that simple. You want to reinforce it, you do it again at high noon. And you start up, and you do it just, that's it, two times. And then from that point on, you're connected with, with the energies of the earth, and uh, Lilith, the goddess, knows where to send you information. It's just you're connected from that point on. So I recommend that's what you do. You connect with the black sun beneath your feet that's bringing all your intention into, into fruition. Of course, you think I'm crazy for telling you that, but I assure you, you're a fucking retard and you know nothing of truth. How's it going? Thanks for joining me. I've been... A Explaining that every compass needle points to the Holy Grail at the center of the dish where every compass points to. And I'm explaining to you that all these superheroes, they rub in your face and none of them can bring forth heaven and earth. You know, I don't ever see a superhero trying to bring forth heaven and earth. Bring down the bad guys for real. And listen to me. They rub this shit in your face. Every compass needle is pointing to the Holy Grail at the center of the dish. You put the two circles together, you get the Vesca Pisces. Where the green, I'm telling you that it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the center of the dish where every compass points to is the Holy Grail. There's really no way to screw this up. That's where you'll drink from the living waters and you'll become like the Hulk. You'll be like a super being without all the bulk. Nobody will be able to hurt you. You'll be like one of those interdimensional beings. It's just that simple. You get everlasting life. It's right over there at the end of every compass. They rub this shit in your face non-stop. And you don't have to like it, but it's true. It's just that simple. I'm telling you that the Holy Grail is right over there at the end of every compass. They're rubbing this shit in your face and you'll, I, you know, from time to time I see people say, oh, you're Illuminati, listen to the type of shit. You, that's just kind of funny. That's funny. If I don't make videos pointing to the Holy Grail, you're fucking dead. You need to come with me if you want to live. Okay? I put my blood into the ether net, and I can see what the fuck is going on. Every compass is pointing to the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish, and you're too blind to fucking see it. So I'm going to have to scream it out from the top of my lungs over and over and over that every compass needle is pointing to the Holy Grail where you get everlasting life in your way out of this matrix. So uh, until you wake up, it's clear who holds the fucking Spear of Destiny. You don't have to like it. I hold the Spear of Destiny. 
okay? All I have to do is make videos over and over and over, and I'm going to end up getting everybody everlasting life, okay? You need to come with me if you want to live. Type into your computer, blood over intent, and hit enter. And scroll down and look at all of us spilling our blood over our intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth. I'm telling you, if you don't put your blood beside my own, you're a fucking retard. You need to come with me if you want to live. Hey, so it turns out there's a lot of people screaming out this gay mafia stuff. <laughs> if you do a search, you'll see for yourself that the industry, you know, is nothing like you think. It's that the casting couch applies to everyone. And uh, you will take it up your ass if you're going to be in media. That's the way it works. It's right over here. Okay? If you don't play along, okay, and you cross them, then, you know, you'll be bent over and, uh, <laughs> it's right there, people. How's it going? Thanks for joining me. So the Holy Grail, the Holy Spear, the Spear of Destiny will only make sense to you once you understand that the earth is flat, that the sun above your head is Jesus, and the Spear of Destiny is your compass needle which points to the Holy Grail which is at the center of the flat earth plane. There's really no way to fuck this up. So Mount Maru, where there was a tree that was chopped down, because if you look up, you'll find that all those mountains out there are the stumps of silica trees that reached all the way up to the clouds and above the clouds. Without this basic knowledge, you can't figure this stuff out. And people want to know, how in the world did I get the Spear of Destiny? It was simple. What I did is I wrote out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. My son did it. We spilled our blood over our intent. And mom, my wife, uploaded the video to the ethernet 360 days after that I gained the eyes to see and it's just that simple now where did I get the idea to spill our blood over our intent and publish it to the ethernet that came to me two weeks into sun gazing where I was staring at the sun with my bare feet on dry soil looking into the sun and speaking my intent that I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and Two weeks after starting sun gazing, I woke up with the burning need to write out my intent on paper, spill my blood on it, and publish it to the ethernet. And it's just that simple, people. When you spill your blood over your written intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth, this is what you call selfless, because it's as on earth as it is in heaven. That's the original intent that I attach my intent to. So I'm explaining to you that any compass that you pick up, that needle is pointing to the Holy Grail. There is no way to mess it up. And I'm explaining to you that when 144,000 living beings place their blood beside my own on YouTube, into the Ethernet, that we will change the entire earth plane just like that. We will all make it to this Holy Grail and we will get our eternal life. Now you say something, it came in the mail. And you see a mailbox, it's got one thing. If you've got outgoing mail, you put up the phallus. And it's got the hole, you know, the door that you open up. A mail has one hole and a phallus. So what they're telling you, like when you go through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish and you pop out the other side and you see somebody, they're going to say, hey, it came in the mail through the mail hole, the Holy of Holies. <laughs> okay. Now, if you look up Saturn is the feminine, it's true. They flipped everything on us. The black hole sun is the feminine. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. Jesus, the sun, places his light into the hole at the center of the dish. And out from that hole comes the green astral light, which is your spear of destiny, your tree of life, your, your holy lance. Okay? There is no way to mess this up. Jesus is the sun, and the sun is conscious. And every day you wait, before you spill your blood over your intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth, doesn't make any sense at all. Because you're either here to mine gold and work for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity, or you're here to bring forth heaven on earth. There is no in-between, people. It's up to you 
to write out on paper, on video, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Be Listen, people, it's as on earth as it is in heaven. Everybody knows that. And all I did is attach my intent, my intent to that original intent. That's all I did. And I was taken away by the universe. And by looking into the sun, the sun is the collective consciousness of the whole. Like you're in a black hole and it's on loop. That's where we get the figure eight. So the land of perpetual twilight. You go through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. When you pop out the other side, you're in the land of perpetual twilight. Anyone who gazes on the green astral light and drinks from the water gets eternal life. I'm informing you, not at all asking you. And I know it's hard for you to believe since you think you're an accident floating on a ball through space. <laughs> and that's your problem. You think you're a fucking accident. I know why I'm here. And I plan to carry out my mission flawlessly. And we're going to get everybody to the Holy Grail before they're dead. Um, if you want to get there before you're dead, you simply want to write out, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your blood on it and publish your video right beside my own titled Blood Over Intent, tag it Blood Over Intent, and description Blood Over Intent. You need to be blood thicker than water to get out of here, people. How's it going? Thanks for joining me. Picking up where we left off in that previous video, there are no forests on Flat Earth Part 2. The giant organism. I was explaining how the sun places this light into the hole, and out from the hole comes the astral jet. Before this giant tree was cut down with all the other trees, there was veins where this light would shoot out and glow all the way across the earth like you saw in the movie Avatar. They rub this shit in our face, people. Now I'm explaining to you that the sun itself is conscious. And one side of it is a black hole. There's a hole at the center of the dish so the whole thing works. You cannot bottle energy up. It needs to be able to flow. And we would be inside of Pandora's box right now. And you can see the sun goes round and round and round, moving inward and out, bringing the seasons. Okay. The Holy of Holies is at the center of the dish, and every single compass is pointing to it. The symbols are rubbed in your face over and over and over. There's no way to mess this up. That heaven is right over there at the center of the dish. What we want to do is enter that hole. And when we pop out the other side, we will be in the land of perpetual twilight. It's just that simple. There's no way to mess it up. You were birthed into this world. And you will be birthed out of this world also. Now listen, every word you speak is a magic spell. You learn spelling or spell casting in school. Yes, you are a witch. Okay, symbols are the language of the universe and the conduit that your biomorphic field is flowing through. And that's every letter, every word, every action, everything that you do is a magic spell. It's an act. And what gave me eyes to see this, all this stuff, people, is that I started looking into the sun and speaking my intent. And then the sun programmed me or something and I'm, next thing I know I'm spilling my blood over my intent and publishing it to the ethernet and then here uh, before 700 days after that I was pointing to the holy of holies and leading my people home and now it's just a matter of time people I'm going to get t-shirts and flyers and all this stuff made up and I'm going to start waking motherfuckers up because we need to get here before we're dead did you hear what I said? Okay, you need to get there before you're dead. It's just that simple. I recommend you start putting your bare feet on soil or get yourself a grounding earthing mat or make one. And you need to connect with the earth specifically. Okay, your divinity was stolen from you. Okay. And if you want to get it back, you're going to get it back through looking at the sun, spilling your intent, publishing it into the, spilling your blood over your intent and publishing it to the ethernet. This is what's going to restore your high man. Something that you lost when you lost your virginity. Okay. You know, they only sacrifice virgins for a reason because their blood is pure. When you lose your virginity, you lose your divinity. It's just that simple. Through sex, you become hexed. And what I'm explaining to you is that blood over intent 
restored my high man and gave me the ability to see stuff from a different perspective because I'm seeing it from the from the eyes of my high man. And I can see stuff and explain it to other people. And I'm telling you that you need to, to be able to do this stuff also. Okay, we need to get to this holy of holies before we're dead. And once you're there, if you think they're going to let you in that hole, only the devil hides his intent. Everybody knows that, people. Everybody knows that. And you think this is all an accident? You're mistaken. There are no accidents. There are no coincidences. Everything is happening for a reason. Okay? What I see here is I see the Holy Grail. I see Jesus. I see this, this, that this, the moon is poisoning the well. That there is not supposed to be any Eve. It was like one side of a light hole is a black hole on loop through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. There's two sides, the upper and lower world or uh, when you go through the hole, you pop out the other side and it's a land of perpetual twilight. It's just that simple. The trees go on forever. Uh, and it's just like that, people. And I know it's just like that because I place my feet on dry soil and I speak my intent into the sun and I'm telling you the sun is conscious. I'm telling you that you need to spill your blood over your intent and publish it to the ethernet because you need, this is your birthright, people, to have heaven on earth, not have to go through all the shit that we're going through because of a bunch of greedy fucking bankers. This is crazy that we are all going through this Okay, because everybody lost their fucking divinity. I found my divinity, and I found a way home. And I'm telling you, you need to spill your blood over your intent and publish that video right beside the rest of ours under blood over intent. You think this is a joke, and you think this is funny, and you think, no, you're mistaken, people. This is everlasting life. Every fucking compass points to it. It's right over there. Okay, and every day you wait makes no fucking sense. You're here to bring forth heaven and earth, and if you're not, then you're here to mine gold. Like I... Remind people often, silly human slaves here to mine gold, okay? Not me. I'm here to bring forth heaven on earth. And I remind people often, okay? Because that's what writes it into the matrix, okay? You need to start understanding that you are this powerful being and your blood, like they store it in a blood bank, that's because your blood is owned by God. And when you write out on a piece of paper something and you spill your blood on it and publish it to the Ethernet, okay, that gets programmed into the matrix. Before the Internet, I would have simply wrote out my intent onto a piece of paper and published it to the, any newspaper of the day for 30 days. And I would have went from not being able to see to being able to see. The key thing here is publishing it so that it gets into the ether. You must publish it. Before there was a newspaper, I would have simply nailed my intent okay, to, the water, to a tree by the watering hole, and that would have put it into the ether. But times have changed. And now we're in the future. We have an ethernet. And now we have a way to get control of the matrix with our blood. Your blood is very magical, people. The sooner you figure this out, the better off you're going to be. Okay? Your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. You need to write your intent. I intend to usher in heaven on earth. You need to place your blood over it and publish video proof of it right beside the rest of ours. Titled Blood Over Intent on YouTube. So go to your YouTube search. Hit Blood Over Intent. And look at all of us spilling our blood over our intent. God owns our blood. That's the most powerful substance in the universe. That's You think this is an accident, people? We're reprogramming the matrix with our blood. This is real. This is powerful stuff. Look up the properties and what makes it so special about blood. Okay? You'll see it. Eventually, put your bare feet on dry soil. Speak your intent to the sun. This is a key thing you need to do, people. You need to familiarize yourself with reality. And that ain't going to happen until you do these types of things. Until then, you're, it's like you never left Egypt. You're just, you need to get to this holy hole before we're dead. And I'm going to scream this out from the top of my lungs over and over and over and over. It's ever fucking lasting life.